here I am in a private library and antiques collection. And today I'd like to just share with you a few of the artifacts in this collection and reflect on the commonality of human created experience in the past few thousand years. Um, seems like we very often tend to think about the ancients, whether medievals or ancient Romans and Greeks, as somehow very different and almost not intelligent the way we moderns are with all of our scientific inventions. But when we look at artifacts that are very well preserved from these periods, we suddenly reach across two or two thousand years of time and find ourselves confronted with things made by people who really were just like us. And, and so to start with, I'd like to share with you this two-handled mug from 450 BC. Just look at that detail there. I mean, we're looking at something created by a person who, whose hands and mind and ability to create motifs was the same as the potters down the street in my hometown who would have made, could have made something like this just a couple weeks ago. Um, look at the definition on the paint. I mean, I could drink my coffee out of this practically. Here we have a large vase from 350-ish BC. Um, I mean, think about who might have been alive when this was created. Uh, Aristotle. Just look at the delicacy there of the lines on her dress. That brushwork, the symmetry of these patterns, and the smooth joints on this clay handle. Now I've got something very rare, a Roman breviary from the 1300s. Christianity has fully covered Europe. And this is a complete breviary, handwritten. And I smell the pages, get that very strong animal hide, animal glue sort of smell. This text is rather difficult to read, but if you, if you decipher it, you start uh, finding passages in the Divine Office that are just the same as you'd find in the traditional breviary today. So right here I can see a phrase of Latin that I can read, Omnipotens Sempiterne Deus. Uh, just think about, about that. This is uh, written down perhaps 800 years ago on animal skin. Who knows who the scribe is? And these were words that I could hear tomorrow morning if I went to the Latin Mass. Here I've got a very precious book, a complete breviary from the 1400s. Um, this one is quite elaborately illuminated. What's really incredible is the, uh, of course, the detail work. And again, thinking about how humanity has and hasn't changed. When I look at the Greek cup, I think, Wow, humanity is very similar. When I look at this craftsmanship, I think to myself, nobody makes things like this anymore. And to see the gold leaf in person is really very different than seeing a reproduction of it. You know, turning, turning the pages is a beautiful experience because of the way the gold shimmers. You know, most of the pages are a little bit simpler, but they are still punctuated by these gold initials um, and very detailed red tracery and ornamentation, but you know, we come across these full pages quite a few times in the book and you know, again, this gothic font, we can read prayers that <clears throat> we continue to pray today. Uh, Deus in adjutorium meum intende, right there, the opening of the divine office, common for that to be illuminated. So next time we make that, you know, assumption that medievals just weren't very smart, didn't really know what they were doing, or that somehow modern humanity is different and has changed. Let's remember these, these works of art and think about what do we have to show for ourselves as moderns. Yes, we have smartphones. We have all sorts of technology, depravity, advancement, and also real art, but also, do we have anything like this to show for ourselves?